In this video, you'll learn how to install the Menzia or other extension panels for Photoshop from Greg Benz Photography. Now, the particular details here may change a little bit in terms of the files you see or some little nuances, just depending on the version of the software you're installing. But the general principles here will apply. And it's very important that you follow these steps closely because installing extension panels for Photoshop is not like installing other software on your computer. And some of the things you would normally do really don't apply here. So please pay careful attention and I'll try to point out any critical pitfalls. The first thing you want to do is start with the zip file that you've downloaded. You should have a single zip file. That's the only thing you'll get from me. If you see multiple different files open up, that's because your browser has already extracted the contents of the zip file for you. And I would generally recommend starting with the zip to make sure it's done correctly. So if you don't see it, be sure to check your downloads folder, or it may be even in your, in your trash bin. For example, the Safari browser on Mac will unzip the contents and then throw your zip into the trash. So that's just something the browser is doing for you but you do have the zip somewhere in your computer. Once you've located it, you wanna right click on it and choose open to extract the contents. Once you do that, you're gonna see this folder is created. Now again, the specific contents here may change, but in general, what you should see is something like a written how to install guide along with install videos. You'll of course see other user manuals that explain how to use the software, the license terms, which you want to make sure you read these before you install the software, and then the installer itself here. You do not want to double click or directly run this file. Instead, we're going to run it from Photoshop. Go into Photoshop and go to File, Scripts, Browse. This is how you run these JSX or JSX bin file types. You need to run it through Photoshop. Once you do this, you want to go point to the download folder where you have it, unzipped, click on the install Lemenzia file. If you don't see this file and you're in CS6, look for a little filter at the bottom where you can change whether it shows JSX, JSX bin, or both types of files so that you can see this file here. Once you see the installer, click on it, click open, and you'd see the installer interface. And you just simply choose which software you want to install, check to confirm that you've read and accept the terms in the license, and then just simply click on install. Once you do that, you should see a pop-up message letting you know that it's installed and you're done. Now, if you go up to Window Extensions, you'll find you cannot see the software yet. And that's because Photoshop will only try to load extension panels when it first starts. So we need to quit and restart Photoshop first before it's available. So we'll just quit. And once we've restarted Photoshop, look under Window Extensions, and this is where you find all your software. So I can just click on it. Then I can click and drag to put it where I want it within the Photoshop interface. I'm gonna go back to Window Extensions Basics to grab the Basics panel because they're installed as two separate panels, but I'm now done with the installation. Now, if you've had any problems with this installation up to this point, you may see a warning about a digital signature error. If you see that, it almost certainly comes from one of three problems. Not unzipping the file as shown in this video, unzipping it on a cloud drive or something other than your computer's drive because the files themselves are signed looking at the metadata, the file dates and things like that. And when you copy these files and move them around between different hard drives, that data can change. So it's important that you unzip it on the same hard drive where you're going to install the software. And then thirdly, if you have antivirus software on your computer, it may falsely detect the software as unknown code. So it has a false positive and puts it into quarantine. So you may need to go into your antivirus program and unquarantine those files. You can also do a manual installation if you prefer. So the installer just copied files for you, but you can also use the installer to help with a manual install. So I'm gonna show that right now. We'll go up to File, Scripts, Browse. Just like before, we're going to point into this folder that we've extracted and run the installer. But this time, instead of clicking on Install, I'm gonna click Show Panels folder. And when I do that, it's popped open this new window that points directly to this extensions folder. I've got a shortcut, so your version will look a little different, but this is going to be where you would install the software. It's already installed. You can already see these Com Lumenzi and Com Lumenzi Basics EXT folders. That is the panel. But if you're going to manual install it, you just go to the downloaded unzipped content under the assets folder, and then go to the panel you want to install, such as Lumenzia. And then you have a couple different folders here. You want to go to Flash if you're on CS6 or HTML if you're on CC. And then this is the software you need to install. You just want to copy it from here to here. On a Mac, you can hold down the Option key, click and drag. And when you let go, you'd copy it. Now I already have it in place. I'm just going to replace it. It doesn't matter. 
But that's all the installation is, is just getting the copy from the unzip files over here. If you run into any problems getting installed, be sure to see the troubleshooting guide for more information.